and what's up everybody i'm back with another video game review and today i am reviewing mario plus rabbids kingdom battle released on the nintendo switch back in 2017 almost a launch title not quite though um now th this is a we'll get into the review in a minute i got a lot of thoughts but once again thank you to like him for, for letting me borrow this game and giving me the opportunity to play it um so once again awesome awesome stuff there and um yeah i have a lot of mixed feelings about this game after beating it um so we're just going to jump right into it shall we i got a lot of thoughts First off, Mario and Rat Rabbids. That's a weird combo. If you guys don't know what Rabbids are, uh, it was a show back on Nickelodeon many, many years ago. I don't know if it's still going. Apparently, they still have a lot of popularity, though, and they were able to collab with Mario, of all characters, for a game. It just It's just a very unconventional combo. But you know what? It works. It works. They don't mesh together perfectly. But it's far from bad. So I really thought it was a good combo. Um, it's just a weird one. I would have never thought to put Mario and Rabbids together um, in a video game. Um, it To me, so this, this game was like a strategy, tactical RPG type of thing. Um, which I did not expect at all when coming into it. It felt like a 3D world slash R, like an RPG 3D world. Mario 3D world. Um, just by the, how the game, like, animations and graphics and, and then also the RPG stuff. The, the combat style, in my opinion, is a lot like the Fractured But Whole South Park, um, which if you want to check my review out, you can, uh, that game, you can go do that. Um, but, you know, if you watch that review, you know that I really, really like that. So the combat was really, really good here. The strategy that's needed is awesome. I like that. Um, versus just, um brute force and upgrading your stuff and having to do like timed like jumps with buttons you don't have to worry about that a lot in this game so that's good um they, they the battles do get really really long though and really really difficult later on in the game um and and especially with some of these type of battles like where you have to reach a point or you have to escort somebody or you have to defeat a certain number of enemies instead of just all the enemies on the battlefield it can become a 10v1 really really quickly because they can the enemies can move a lot more places and have stronger weapons and can do more things and see so it really really pushes you to take it to upgrade as much as you possibly can and upgrade certain areas that you need to upgrade for a certain battle and also take advantage of a lot of the abilities and really think about what you need to do so it can be very challenging along that regard so um that that's good um talk about the rabbits some more they're funny uh the rabbits do provide a lot of good um uh, humor points in this game um so that was cool i i, I like that um, I was expecting the rabbits to be like pretty annoying, um, because I remember watching the show when I was younger, but they weren't that annoying. Um, they weren't like not annoying, but they were tolerable, you know, they, they provide a good humor and, um, they are, they, they have really cool abilities in the game too. Um, so that was good. I really liked that. Um, I also, a lot of the, there was a lot, very, a lot of smooth transitioning as well between level to level, um, where it's not like you go to a hub world or you go to a map or something after you exit a level, you leave a section in like the world and then you go straight to the next level. It all blends together really well. And I really, really like that. Um, it just feels more natural. There is indicators like here's a banner to start level eight of this world or start uh, go to this one. And then you go to like you go to like Peach's Castle and then you have cannons that take you to each world. But inside the worlds, the level transitions are a lot better. Um, so that's really, really good. Uh, nice little thing. I like the Luigi's Mansion reference with Luigi's uh, weapons being like vacuums, like they shape like vacuums and then they have like sharpshooters. I think that's really, really funny. Um, also a rabid Kong. That was pretty funny. Um, I, I like that. Um, I also really like that you can play as Peach. Um, not I'm more 
more games of the Mario, of like more Mario games have you playing as Peach. 3D World's another one. Um, and we got Super Mario Bros. Wonder coming out, um, which actually might already be out at the time of this video coming up. Um, and then, of course, this game. Um, and Peach is really, really good in this game. Uh, really, really badass. I didn't like using Peach later on because her guns can eliminate all like protection areas on the battlefield. So you got to know that going in. Um, but she does good with health and, and has a lot of health for herself. And um, her weapons are still very powerful. So that was good to know. Another thing that may seem very small to most people playing games but is it massive, massive for me? This game automatically saves your progress and it saves it very, very, very often. There's not actually a way to save your progress, but the game will tell you progress being saved and it will do it literally when you go to enter a battle, when you exit a battle, when you enter a new level, when you exit to Peach's Castle, when you go to a new world. Every chance it gets, it saves for you. You don't have to do anything. It doesn't slow the game down. It doesn't uh, hind it doesn't stop your progress. It doesn't it's just a very natural flow and I love that. And I wish more games would take advantage of that and do something like that cuz it <clears throat> made me like this game. So that's something that I really, really liked about this game. Let's talk about something I really, really don't like about this game. And that is the uh, percentages of uh, the chance you have to get a hit. This is in the combat again. So sometimes, you know, the, the opponent will be wide open or you're wide open. 100% chance you'll get hit. Sometimes they'll be completely blocked or you'll be completely blocked. 0% chance of getting hit. And then there's some times where you're partially blocked. So they're, or they're partially blocked, so there's a 50-50 chance maybe you'll get hit, maybe you won't. But it's not 50%. It is for them. For them, it's like, not even for them, it's like an opposite spectrum, right? For me, when I was, especially later on in the game, when I'm trying to shoot, or if it was from long, I noticed if it was from longer range, or, um... Actually, it really didn't even matter if it was long range, maybe. I, I was just trying to shoot from longer range most times. So that's probably why I say it's from longer range. But, um, but like, how, how do I word this? But it's like one every ten times I would actually get a hit. Not 50-50. That is a one. One out of ten is not 50-50. And then they would hit you nine out of ten times. How is that fair? How is that fair? Okay. And, and also, they it doesn't need, I mean, that's the time they actually have a 50 50 chance. Most times, 100% because they can jump literally across the map or at the end of the final battle with Bowser. He can just blow fire on you from above and just negate every single um, thing, every single blockage point in the entire uh, uh, map. Uh, and it was just really, really stupid. And that's just another thing. I just want to keep griping about these battles because they get so long. Defeat eight enemies. Defeat ten enemies. Defeat the final boss. Every boss has three health bars. And they have a fuck ton of health. And you can't switch out characters. You can't refill your health. You can't do anything in between the health bars. And it just takes so long. It's so grueling. And it can just be really, really mentally draining. Um, at the end of the day, I, there's, it, it also costs a lot to get new weapons and you really got to be tactical on who you want to upgrade and it can, and at the end of the game, like the yo like rabbit Yoshi and regular, I didn't, I didn't even use regular Yoshi. I barely used rabbit Yoshi. I barely used rabbit Mario because you have to keep Mario in your group at all times. Some other people were figuring out a way to not have Mario in their group. I think, um, I don't know if there's a way to not have Mario in your group, but you have, like, Mario. Uh, maybe sometimes I didn't want Mario. Maybe I wanted Peach, Lu Peach and uh, a, a Luigi and a Rabbit. Or I wanted Luigi Yoshi Rally. I never even used Yoshi. I barely used Rabbit Yoshi. And I would just like to use them a little more. And you get Yoshi so late in the game, and it just doesn't feel worth it because you're already used to the, the tactical points of the, the other characters. 
it just makes them kind of redundant, you know? So, that's why I have a lot of mixed feelings about this game. There's just a lot that it gets, there's a lot that it does right, and there's a lot that it does wrong. And so it's really hard to get a full gauge of where to go uh, for this game. But, so... But that's my thoughts um, on Mario plus Rabbit Kingdom Battle. Like it's told me that the sequel does it better, does a lot of things better than this game does. Uh, I don't have the sequel. I don't know when I'll get the chance to play it, but hopefully eventually because I did I did enjoy this game. It's not a bad game. Only four worlds, which I think is shorter. It was shorter than I thought it was, but as I played the game more and when you're now finishing it, I can say that's a really good length for the game because of the battles, because of the real-time strategy and everything, how long that can take. So, overall, though, I really enjoyed I, I really enjoyed it, and I really hated it, too. And they all just kind of clash. Uh, my final score, though, for Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle, probably, um, probably a, a 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10. It's good. It's good. But prepare for agony, um, especially later on in the game. But it's still fun. So, if you've ever played this game, though, I'd love to know your thoughts about it in the comment section down below. And uh, so that's going to do it for this game review and doing it for this video. So stay tuned for much more amazing content, including more game reviews and other awesome stuff. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.